Thanks so much for joining us for 21 Days of Prayer. This has been such a great time for our church to pause and to reflect together on God's goodness and allow him to work in us and through us. So we're following the acrostic pray. P stands for praise. R stands for repent. A stands for ask. And Y stands for yield. So let's dive into praise. We're in Hebrews 13, 15 that says, Through him... Then let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. So Jesus' sacrifice paid our ransom so that we could have eternal life through faith in him. His work on our behalf is done. And there's nothing that we can do to ever add to that. But he calls us to continually offer up a daily lifestyle of worship to the Lord, to show him gratitude, to bring honor and to praise to his name in everything that we do every single day of our lives. So let's pray. Jesus, we praise you for who you are, the one true God, the King of kings, the one who is always in control who reigns above everything, the one who is sovereign over all. We thank you that you never change. You never fail us. We thank you that you are always faithful to us. Even when we wander away from you, you're still there. You're such a loving father. We thank you for the gift of salvation, the gift of hope, peace, and love. And we thank you that you are always, always good. In your name, amen. I'd encourage you right now just to pause this video and take some time to pray in your own words. All right, next is repent. 1 John 1, 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So none of us can ever claim to be perfect or claim to never sin. Jesus paid for our sin on the cross, but that doesn't mean we can just do whatever we want and continue in our sin. He calls us to daily confess our sins to him, to repent, to ask for forgiveness, and then be cleansed by his grace and be forever changed. So let's pray. Jesus, we humbly come before you and we admit that we are far from perfect and we have sinned. Please forgive us for all of our sins. We ask that you help us turn from our wicked ways and turn to you, Lord. We ask that you cleanse us. Help us be more like you. Help us to follow the plans that you have for us and be who you have called us to be. In your name we pray. Amen. I'd encourage you to pause right now and pray in your own words. Next is ask. 1 John 5 verse 14 says, And this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. So this verse doesn't mean that he's just going to give us everything that we want. He's always available to hear our every concern, our every need. He never stops listening to us. He never walks away from us. And as we bring our needs before him, we need to ask that his will would be done. He responds to our prayers according to what his will is for us. So let's pray. Jesus, we thank you that you are always there. We bring our needs and our concerns to you right now, Lord. Thank you for always listening for always caring for us, for always loving us. And we ask that you help our wants and our desires to align with your perfect will so that you could use us however you want to. We pray that your will would be done. In your name, amen. I'd encourage you to pause right now and pray in your own words. All right, last one is yield. James 5, 7 says, Be patient, therefore, brothers, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient about it, until it receives the early and the late rains. 
I love how James uses the example of a farmer who sometimes has to wait a very long time to see their efforts pay off. It's hard work. It's a struggle. Waiting can be hard. I am not a patient person at all. But sometimes God uses the waiting and the process to stretch us and to prepare us for what he has for us next. So let's pray. Jesus, help us to be patient in our sufferings. Lord, this is something I struggle with. Help us to be patient in the waiting, patient when things don't make sense, patient in the mystery. We thank you for the fact that you walk with us through every battle, through every storm, and you never forsake us. And help us to never forget that. And we praise you. In your name we pray. Amen. I encourage you to continue to pray in your own words. And thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that you will join us again tomorrow. And we'll see you Sunday.